Hello everyone, I'm Black Marvin and today I'm showing you some psychedelic wavetables. Alright, I have to admit I've been really busy this summer and there's a video I've been wanting to make for a long time, well at least since June, because since June this uh, psychedelic wavetables for Serum, this pack has been out, uh, it came out at the same time as Psytrance Awakening 3 for Serum and I just had, didn't have the time to make a video for this one and I see that there's already one review, uh, some of you uh, brilliant, brilliant people, there's already a lot of you that, that grabbed this pack and uh, that, that's nice, it's nice to see that some of you uh, really follow that kind of product because it can really help your sound design, uh, the wavetables are really the basic building blocks of a sound. So psychedelic wavetables, why are they psychedelic? Uh, do I need to plan a trip sitter while using these uh, wavetables? No you don't uh, and I'm going to tell you why they are uh, psychedelic, why they are called like that. The story behind these wavetables is uh, that when I was creating the uh, Psytrance Awakening 3 preset pack for Serum, um, when I create a preset pack I want, I want uh, the presets to be unique. Uh, there's many things I can do uh, to make sure that the preset sounds unique, but one thing I did is I created some wavetables to, to use in the pack. All right, and this is these wavetables. Why are they psychedelic? It's because these wavetables are nice tones to be used in side trends. For example, if we go here, you have all these subfolder. Let's go with the screechy psychedelic one. The screechy tones are really good for typical full-on leads and uh, you know scree screechy uh, screechy textures. And this one goes like this. And if you play it lower, it's even better. So just just going through the wavetable, it's already, it's already like uh, some nice movement in the sound. And if we just take a uh, band pass, for example, and have some movement in there, it, it, it already sounds like a nice building block for a Cytrans preset. Let me cycle through the screechy tones uh, real fast. This is just a dry wavetable. So that gives you an idea of what kind of sound, if you use that, that wavetable, what kind of sound do you want to go with? Uh, you, could, you could all do a uh, dubstep, dubstep preset with that, but they're, they're really um, facilitating your side trance preset work. If you go uh, psychedelic, what I really like about psychedelic is th these are all different variations of a saw wave. Um, you can use them for more uh, classic leads or uh, for bass, you know, you know what? In fact, I'm gonna use a technique called wavetable swap, and I'm gonna get the bass from the Cytrans Awakening three preset. This is Eboga. Uh, if you want to know more about this pack, go check our video about this pack. So I'm just gonna get a bass real quick. What we have here is the bass Eboga preset from Cytrans Awakening three, and really super standard bass pattern. There's no processing whatsoever. If you were to use that in a track, you would put some processing on it. But for now, this is just raw. And I'm just gonna swap that wavetable with uh, the, all the psychedelic wavetables we have in the pack. So, uh, just gonna get that analog asymmetrical saw. So really different. Uh, one thing you might want to do is uh, ch change the face since this is a really different wavetable. Change the face to, um, uh, a, a position that makes sense. So that this is this one, analog stage saw. A 
a bit more choked, a bit more woody. BX saturated saw, which is, I gotta say, my favorite one for bass. Really different sounding, but I've achieved some nice bass with this one. Merry Go Saw, not really the best for bass in this case, but it's a, a really good building blocks for leads. Uh, really fat, fat uh, saw wavetable. I think you understand now the idea about uh, swapping the wavetable. This technique is called wavetable swap. And uh, you could use this on any preset. Actually, uh, we're gonna use that uh, same technique for a lead. We're gonna swap a wavetable into a lead preset and see what comes out of it. Um, if we go take a look here at the tones, I'm not gonna go through each of this one. The tones are building blocks for a lead. Um, and the, my favorite one is the psilocybin. Uh, you'll see why. This one's not a, necessarily about much the wavetable position, but it's just like a gritty, gritty wavetable for a lead, it's perfect. Again, I'm just gonna get just a bit band pass action. Really simple band pass action is really nice. So we're now gonna swap this into a lead. So I chose this preset here. It's the land of apples, and this is how it sounds when you. And this is how it sounds when you open that preset. I'm gonna swap that psychedelic one wavetable for psilocybins. So you all, you have that preset, and uh, it's you, it brought a bit of grit. It is it is subtle, uh, but it, the idea is just to swap that wavetable and not change the preset, but get a different tone. And I would do the same thing with the other with table, but I'm gonna use um, another one. I'm gonna use the, let's say the factor A wave table. So now it's a similar sounding preset, but, but it is different. If you're new to sound design, this is a really good technique because you don't have to craft a whole preset, but you can start um, really understanding the role of the wavetables by swapping them, experimenting with them. This is a great way to start experimenting with sound design. You could for sure use them for drum and bass presets, for dubstep presets, for whatever, especially the saw wave, which are really standard, but those have been made in the mindset of side trends presets and psychedelic sounds. So that was more details about the psychedelic wavetables. If you're an aspiring sound designer or a Psytrance producer, these are for you. These are really good tools for your toolbox. If you love the Ghost Act content, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, for more content by myself or other Ghost Act producers. And until then, I will see you in another video. Cheers. Cheers.